Welcome to Sarah Tech's Digital Twin webinar. My name is Sarah Tsugi and I'm your host today. This webinar is part of a series we're presenting this year, focusing on ways companies can improve their engineering and product development process. Today, our speaker is Hassan Kobayari. Hassan has over 25 years of digital strategy development, implementation and management experience in PLM and IT for global product development operations. Prior to joining Saratac, he was leading HondaJet PLM implementation in North Carolina, held IT's director position at Space Systems slash Laurel Satellite Manufacturing Company in Palo Alto, and led Ford's powertrain C3 PNG implementation for over 10 years. Sasan holds his bachelor's and master's degrees in mechanical engineering and executive MBA from University of Michigan Ross Business School. Now I'll pass the presentation over to Sasan. Great. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Um, glad to join us uh, for this webinar. Uh, today I'm going to uh, review some of the benefits and uh, definitions of the digital twin and digital threat uh, and the importance of it and how uh, there are the growing uh, business demand for uh, this type of implementation throughout the product and manufacturing organization. I'll uh, also uh, share with you a few of examples of the implementation and some of the industry best practices. Uh, why uh, having a digital strategy is important. Uh, in this age of acceleration, your industry is seeing an explosion of complexity at product level as well as the factory and process level. Integrating design and manufacturing and utilization, and then looking at the multi-level systems that are needed to work together all impacting lead times, cost of inventory, cost of quality, and rework. At this stage, uh, you either be a disruptor or someone will try to disrupt your industry, and you need to be able to respond fast. That's why digitalization is very important to be able to respond quickly. By looking at the uh, market research, uh, Gardner and others, we see the demand for digital twin is growing. Gardner predicts the market will reach $16 billion by 2023, uh, being adopted by all kinds of organizations, healthcare, automotive, aerospace, uh, smart, smart cities, retail, asset management. And the benefits are depending on organization and where you are at your digital strategy journey. So, of course, uh, reducing time and cost, increase reliability, improve output, managing risk, and uh, very important is uh, increase product performance and predictability. Those are some of the uh, benefits you're gonna see by implementing digital twin. So let's uh, get into what is digital twin. The concept of digital twin as first defined by Dr. Michael Graves in 2003 mainly consists of three main parts. Uh, physical products in real space, virtual products in virtual space, and the connected data that tie the physical and virtual product together. With the advent and IoT, an ability to collect data from the real physical environment, now we can have that connection in a much better way, and that's what Digital Twin in the last five years has been growing uh, rapidly. So digital twins are virtual replicas of physical devices that that uh, you you have, you'll be able to run simulation before actual devices are built and deployed into production. And the digital twin technology has moved beyond manufacturing and into merging worlds of Internet of Things, AI, and data analytics. Digital twin technology uses sensors, the IoT, simulation, and analytics to predict product and behavior and performance. So when in product design environment, you have uh, uh, starting from requirement gathering and, and project planning, system engineering, design, manufacturing, and actually into testing and physical. Um, and and Siemens have provided the teams on a platform that, that start bringing a lot of that together. And the importance of uh, implementing digital twin is, is connections of the information and data between these disciplines. The digital twin is a virtual representation 
of a product or process in a correct context of users or teams to analyze, study, or improve. In order to be useful, the digital twin must be tied to the latest authorized configuration. So Team Center Platform is enabling single source of truth and the connectivity across the product lifecycle. Uh, Saratec is working with companies uh, to develop the roadmap to implement process capabilities in each of these verticals and then be able to leverage the Team Center investment and that platform to maximize the usage of uh, that capabilities. So what is the use of uh, digital twin? The three configuration we talked about is uh, digital twin of product that predicts physical appearances and other attributes such as performance characteristics before the actual product is built. More than just 3D CAD, Siemens digital twin of product brings machine learning, generative design, and PLM to name a few examples. The second one, the digital twin of production allows for optimization of physical layout of production. This digital twin takes into account a variety of consideration of production, capacity, utilization of resources for a more optimized throughput. The uh, digital Performance Twin provides insight and optimization of the in-service operations to include abilities to predict maintenance aspects and validate what was produced versus what was initially designed. So the combination and integration of the three digital twins as they have evolved together is known as digital thread. The, the term thread is used because it's woven into and brings together data from all stages of a product and production lifecycle. To leverage the full potential of a digital twin is to maximize its ability to think and understand the impact of changes from one connected twin to another, or from one connected systems to the next within the product development ecosystem. This type of functionality required a powerful integrated and continuous exchange of digital information. And so this is the, the role of the digital threat. And then when we talk about uh, the what Siemens offerings are, it provides that powerful integrated environment. To give you an example of the uh, flexible open open ecosystem uh, you have with Team Center uh, is mainly the integrated within the best-in-class software for mechanical, electrical, electronic design to manage multi-domain engineering data and processes. Siemens invested over $10 billion in the last 11 years, either by development or acquisitions of the key technologies in order to provide a most comprehensive digital twin uh, platform. Example of the very integrated systems and subsystems uh, that all of the engineering um, performance and functionality have to work together. Nowadays, uh, by traditional method, it's not really possible to look at all the interdependencies. As your product's complexity increases, there is a need to bring all aspects of engineering and manufacturing as an integrated linked information. Digital threads enable systems engineering, automate tasks, and help users innovate faster and focus on areas where they can provide the most value. With Team Center inside the design environment, your design engineers can use PLM without leaving the design tool of choice, while non-CAD users can easily access information from any smart devices. So, uh, Siemens have, have brought into these solutions together to work in the same um, platform that uh, allows that integration, as you can see in this example. The boundaries between phases are disappearing. Uh, we are not talking about just CAD database or CA tools, but integrated solutions solving engineering problems. A closed loop digital twin, integrated electronics, digital factory, additive manufacturing, the importance of the platform is enforced here. So you can see 
um, why that integration is critical. So the last slide I, I want to share with you is primarily um, get into more of the uh, seven uh, digital threats which are provided by Siemens Solution. And um, to uh, facilitate um, the digital twin, Siemens is offering uh, these seven uh, digital threats in order to complete prior life cycle and then be able to uh, connect all of the information together from, from initial to end. Um, and then in future webinars, Saratech will be deep diving in each one of these and we'll provide much more detail. But in a high level, this is kind of setting the stage for um, some of the major capabilities or the digital main threads that you can leverage um, and then uh, be able to kind of put a roadmap together. The first one, the model-based system engineering that you've heard uh, extensively and primarily that brings together the core elements of Siemens collaboration platform with elements from Siemens system engineering, mechanical, electrical, electronics, software design, the multi-domain modeling and simulation. Um, the MBSC helps eliminate the unforeseen issues that appear at the system integration level, which is very difficult for just a team to identify uh, nowadays with the complexity of the uh, products um, uh, at the traditional method. The integrated program planning and execution um, provides the system-based approach uh, to a pro project program planning by bringing cost, schedule, risk, and requirements into a fully planned and budgeted program management solution. And this threat provides an integrated view of um, across all domains. And then the product design and manufacturing threat, um, mainly as you have, you have, most of the customers are leveraging a lot of that capability with Siemens, um, has a unique position to be able to present the entire product digitally in the mechanical, electrical, and software disciplines. Additionally, these capabilities are served as integrated set of Siemens tools for CAD CAM CAE development. And then as we get into beyond uh, the design and manufacturing into verification aspect, uh, this digital threat will enable traceability for rapid certification through synchronizing requirements from design analysis and test of virtual and physical assets. Brings a huge level of automation to the time intensive process. And uh, that, that's one of the recent uh, kind of uh, catalysts that put together that actually brings uh, the testing, physical testing and the analytical testing together that ties uh, directly to a requirements up front. And then uh, the supply collaboration and management manages data and interactions, uh, supplier source selection along with uh, quality and deliverables for suppliers using a model-based process to help move away from document-based processes. Uh, intelligent manufacturing uh, achieves um, a fully integrated factory, uh, moving from engineering design to manufacturing planning. Uh, engineers can quickly optimize the factory layout and virtually evaluate flexible automation. And then the product process and management enables manufacturing owners and service organizations to support complex products within the model based in service and management environment. Because this phase uh, compromise of the highest portion of an asset's total cost of ownership, it's critical to uh, feel the products to be supported by configuration driven environment that provides physical service oriented product definitions and maintenance information. And then in future uh, webinars uh, this year, we'll be going through some of these in much more detail. Um, so this will show that integrated digital twin systems and processes are not just nice to have functionality and bring competitive advantage. Instead, integrated dig digital twins will form the backbone of the future manufacturing businesses similar to what uh, mechanization, mass production, and automation brought to industrial revolution. 
So at Saratech, what we would do is uh, not only uh, provide a lot of engineering services and, uh, and design services and PLM implementation, we can work with you to look at the maturity of the your digital strategy uh, and then uh, work with you to develop the roadmap uh, to, to get you to uh, implement and take advantage of digital twin solutions and capabilities. Just want to take a couple minutes to share with you uh, some information about Saratech. Saratech provides engineering solutions basically to help companies realize better products. So how do we do that? We supply engineering expertise, we supply services, software, and manufacturing solutions to help improve your product development processes. Um, and what is cool about us is our engineering team actually uses the software and tools that we sell and support while implementing industry best practices and methodologies. Next slide, please, Sasan. So our team has been working with companies across multiple industries since 2002. So it doesn't matter which industry you're in, whether aerospace, uh, marine, medical devices, we have experts on staff that can help. So please reach out to us if you need help with engineering and improving your product development processes. Uh, I'm hoping these sessions are useful and kind of get the conversation started. And as Sasan has mentioned, we will have more detailed sessions in the future that talks about specific component of the digital thread, as well as engineering um, solutions for companies across various industry. Well, thank you, Sasan and Andy. Um, you can go ahead and go to the next slide. We'll now enter the Q&A portion of our webinar. So if you have any questions, um, you can go ahead and enter them now. It does look like we have um, a few questions, Sasan. So the first is from Ken. He asked, how can Saratech help me if I don't want to change my current CAD system? What are the options to make a digital twin work at my company? Uh, well, uh, the this type of implementation or any kind of PLM implementation does not require to change the CAD system. Uh, Team Center uh, is actually very strong in managing multi-CAD systems and we have done that for many of our uh, customers. Have, uh, from AutoCAD to Solid Edge to Solid Work um, to other CAD system, NX of course. Uh, uh, so Team Center is, uh, is uniquely designed to be able to manage multi-CAD. Um, so there's no need to change CAD system and uh, we'll be able to implement um, PLM, uh, full PLM implementation as well as the digital uh, twin uh, with any type of environment that you have. Great, thank you, Sasan. Um, the next question, it asks, what are the things to consider before implementing digital twins? Uh, good question. Uh, the, the ability to uh, update uh, the process data in real time is important um, as, as much as it can be without human interactions. So the data has to feed from uh, downstream from manufacturing side or from the real product and physical side into your design and analysis. Um, so, so we can uh, assess your organization and process technology maturity. And then um, the maturity when we're talking about is really uh, works on the, the process level, the technology and the governance and people. So um, we have a model that uh, we can define your these four elements of maturity in organizations. Um, if they're unstructured, they're repetitive, defined, dynamic or optimal. And then based on that, where you want to go with your uh, business strategy, then we can uh, define your roadmap. Um, so considerations are definitely um, uh, the data processing, the data security, and the data qualities are very important because now the digital twin is really uh, depending on a lot of data that has been gathered. And then uh, training the team is uh, is also uh, very important to be able to adopt a new new ways of working. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The next question um, comes from Chris. He asks, what are the challenges of implementing digital twin? 
Well, one of the challenges is the lack of awareness of regarding cost benefit of adoption of digital twins. Um, they, it requires a considerable collaboration and sustained commitment on all parts of leaders from the organization that are affected. So uh, uh, we definitely would uh, recommend to identify the processes which are the most, uh, um, I guess, bleeding at this point and requires uh, help, and then uh, develop a, a pilot program for that process. And then at that point, you can move and expand from there. And looks like we have one last question from Kenneth. He asks, do you have to be a large company to take advantage of Digital Twin? Uh, no, actually, uh, the when we're going beyond uh, the CAD data management and document management and CAD and CA integrations and all that, and that's something that we can definitely work with you and the smaller companies we worked before to implement. And then uh, you can pretty much uh, start the, the seven threads, which I mentioned, each one of them have a uh, kind of a roadmap of how you can mature and grow in that area. So you, we can start and develop a roadmap to take advantage of your PLM investments, your CAD and design engineering environment and manufacturing environment, and be able to start uh, developing the capabilities and add on to this platform to grow to where you want to go. Um, not, not all the um, capabilities are required for each organization, depending on where, you, where you're at with your digital strategy or uh, how far you want to go. We can pretty much scale, it, scale that implementation and show you a good roadmap to give you a best uh, return on investment. Great. Well, thank you so much, Sasan. Um, this is just a reminder that if you have any additional questions or comments after the webinar, you can always email us at info at .com. Thank you so much for attending and have a great day. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.